radio broadcast and, uh, that is part of this. Uh, so, uh, delighted to see you here. And Mr. President, we are very delighted to have the chance to meet you here at the White House to be given an interview. And I think this would be the first interview given by Mr. President to the journalists from the People's Republic of China. And I must add, this will be the first uh, press interview ever given by any U.S. president to the permanent representatives of the Chinese press in Washington. Well, well, I'm delighted to be a, a first in that regard. Uh, Dave, uh, could you bring me a little something you'll find there that I left on my desk? Uh, so we thank you very uh, much for thank giving you. us this uh, uh, special treat. Well, I say so. all right. I have one ear that doesn't hear so well so, from a shooting accident some time ago, and I forgot and left this on my desk. Now, <laughs> I'll hear better. So, with your permission, I will ask the first question. All right. And followed by my colleagues. Mr. President, not long ago, Chinese Premier Zhao Ziyang visited the United States. Now, you are about to leave here for a visit to the People's Republic of China. Would you like to comment on the significance of this visit and the impact of such mutual visits on the bilateral relationship between China and the United States and on the world situation as a whole? Well, yes, the, the visits. Um, I had been invited uh, by the Premier to uh, visit China uh, I, in turn, had in, uh, invited him. And the way it had turned out between uh, the leaders of China and of the United States, uh, it, we felt was uh, uh, proper that our invitation to him, that uh, uh, he come here and I would wait and take my turn after his visit. Um, as to the importance of it, I think our countries are friends. We uh, recognize the non-aligned status of the People's Republic and respect that. But also, I know it has been my thinking for a long time that the United States is truly a, a nation of the Pacific Basin and certainly the largest and most important uh, state uh, in that Pacific Basin is uh, the People's Republic of China. I think that uh, our, uh, these visits are a sign of maturing our friendship, our relationship. Uh, there are some differences between us, but uh, there are many more things that we have in common that can be mutually beneficial. And I believe that the entire Pacific Basin is the, is the world's future. It is the fastest growing area. And uh, we can cooperate in uh, some of the modernization that is going on in uh, industry in the People's Republic. Uh, they, in turn, uh, well, the benefits would be mutual. Just a few minutes ago, before you came in, uh, I met with a little group of the students from China who are here in the United States. Uh, there are some 11,000 here, but this was just a small group representative of them. And uh, I told them how we would hope to see that expand with more of our students going there, uh, more young students from China coming here. We have a long history of friendship between our two peoples. It began 200 years ago 
when a, an American clipper ship visited China and the trade began, farm products of mainly from our part, uh, Chinese art, textiles, handiwork from China's part in the trade. Now, uh, while some of those same things are the basis of the trade, uh, we've added high technology. And I think the future in trade and development for both of us uh, holds out a great promise for our people. I'll try to make some of my answers shorter, but you asked a kind of a <laughs> question that couldn't be answered short. Mr. President, in a couple of days, uh, you'll be on your way to China for a friendly visit. Uh, and observers describe uh, your visit trip uh, historical. Uh, and I believe you'll be warmly welcomed in our country. My question is, how would you assess the present state of Chinese-American relations? And uh, uh, what is your view of the prospects of these relations? And finally, uh, what results are you going to uh, achieve from your scheduled trip? Well, as I said in answering the first question, it is, I think, a maturing of the relationship between us. Uh, I do believe that, that uh, there is a friendship between our two peoples that's historic. There are a number of areas uh, having to do with trade uh, that we're going to discuss. I know there are uh, certain things that uh, we hope we can come to agreement on with regard to uh, two trade matters. Uh, uh, to, uh, I know at the ministerial level we've been discussing a, a, a tax a treaty that would protect uh, China's pe per people and our own from uh, the penalty of double taxation. Uh, there are a number of things in which we can come to agreement. We've been discussing uh, uh, nuclear uh, relations. And, uh, well, I've always believed you know, that people only get in trouble when they're talking about each other, not talking to each other. So I think this will be a time for talking to each other as it was when the Premier was here. Mr. President, this is going to be your first visit to the People's Republic of China. Would you tell us how you feel and what kind of message are you bringing to the Chinese people? I think it could be summed up uh, that I know I'm going to be addressing students at the university. I'm going to be speaking uh, uh, to the nation and on television. I'm going to speak of our desire for increased friendship and relations with the People's Republic. Uh, Mr. President, one outstanding problem in the China-U.S. relations is the difference in dealing with the Chinese territory of Taiwan. Uh, as President of the United States, what measures are you prepared to take in eliminating this uh, difference? I realize there is a difference there and it's been discussed and uh, on the recent visit here, this was one of the subjects of discussion. I think our position is pretty well known to the leaders of the People's Republic that, that we have a, a long and historic friendship with the Chinese people on Taiwan. Um, we are not going to uh, turn our back on old friends uh, uh, in order to, uh, let's say, strengthen or make new friends. And this, all this I have made clear. The problem between the People's Republic and the people in Taiwan is one for the Chinese to settle between themselves. 
uh, we will do nothing to intervene. We will do nothing to uh, pressure uh, one side or the other. The only thing is, uh, as I have stated many times, we believe that, uh, that the solution must be peaceful. And settling uh, whatever differences there may be, and we look forward to and hope that uh, there will be a peaceful settlement of, of that issue. Could I follow up a question on this? Uh, you said you are going to have uh, continue the uh, friendly people-to-people -people relationship with Taiwan. I understand it's a people-to-people -people friendship, not uh, in the sense of any uh, relationship between governments. I want to uh, ask whether am I right. We have diplomatic relations with the People's Republic. We have an unofficial relationship uh, with the people on Taiwan. And uh, it is one that is based on friendship and based on trade, things of that kind. And uh, we, uh, we have been perfectly frank about that. And um, I don't think that it is, a, is an obstacle to uh, improve friendship between ourselves and the People's Republic. Uh, Mr. President, you will be the first uh, incumbent U.S. Uh, president to visit the Chinese ancient capital city of Xi'an. Why have you made this choice? Oh, my goodness. That's an easy one to answer. Uh, that was the capital for 2,000 of the last 3,000 years. It has been the scene of some of the great and most historic excavations, uh, archaeological excavations in, uh, in the world. I've seen pictures, photos, I've read of some of the discoveries there and the historic significance of that and uh, we want to see for ourselves. We want to visit. Thank you. Now, uh, would you tell us uh, what kind of preparations are you making to, uh, to prepare for the visit? For instance, uh, what kind of books and articles you and Mrs. Reagan have been reading and uh, what kind of movies about China you have seen? Well, let me, let me say, well, and, and as to the first part of your question or the other one that I just answered also, mm -hmm. let me express my appreciation for the uh, effort and the arrangements that uh, the government of the People's Republic has made in order for us to be able to visit uh, that site. But now, as to the overall visit, uh, I, of course, have been reading many briefing tomes <laughs> uh, that have been provided, uh, both with regard to the People's Republic and, and uh, the matters that we're going to discuss. But also, uh, I have been trying to indoctrinate myself. Uh, I have met with scholars. I have met with uh, uh, who have been there. How uh, we, I have seen uh, a number of, of books and, uh, and uh, well, the National Geographic has put together, as you know, a whole volume on, uh, on, the, on China itself. Uh, believe me, I have gone through that, and I, I don't know why I didn't know enough about China to be as aware as I am now of the great scenic beauty mm -hmm. of the land. Uh, you see normally in a newspaper pictures of cities or something, and all cities have a certain amount of looking alike. But uh, in these other things that I've seen, the, the magnificent scenery, the beauty of the land, uh, we're looking forward to that very much. But uh, I, I have been, uh, well, I've had available in a great, great deal of information that I have uh, that has increased my interest in getting there. So well prepared. Yes. Any movies have you seen uh, about China? Uh, I've just seen some film that our own people put together mm 
uh, on the various locations of where we will be in discussing the, the schedule and the, and the trip itself. I can't, uh, well, I've seen, I've seen some reruns of tapes of uh, President Nixon's visit, uh, first visit there. I have to tell you, you should have asked the question of Mrs. Reagan, though, because yeah. she has more time for reading, and uh, she's been reading a number of accounts of uh, people there and stories and background more than I have. So I'll ask her questions if I need to. Thank you. Mr. President, did you practice using chopsticks? <laughs> uh, because I have had uh, other trips to Asia, if not to the People's Republic, uh, Korea to Japan and to uh, Taiwan. Um, I've, it's been a while yet, but I think I still remember how, and uh, uh, I, I don't think I'll have any trouble with that. You know, this is the <coughs> second trip to Asia in six months, uh, the last one to Japan and Korea, and uh, now this one, but it's I mention that because it is an indication of how strongly I feel that, that the Pacific Basin is the future. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. Well. And we have uh, enjoyed your conversation. And uh, uh, as I said, this is the first, and we hope, and I'm sure, it won't be the last. Well, I, I hope not. And we wish you a very happy journey to China, and uh, uh, bon voyage to you. Well, thank you very much. I am uh, looking forward to meeting the other leaders that I have not yet met of the government there, and also I'm going to extend some invitations for them to uh, visit our country. Now, will any of you be you're all based here, as I understand. Right. Yes. Yes. Will any of you be making the trip? Uh, no, not for this time, no. You mean you're going to have to read the Washington Post to find out what I'm doing? <laughs> and watch the television. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to rely on your very big press corps <laughs> with you. <laughs> to see the response in this country. Well, all right. Well, thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now don't, 